how to update miui on your rooted xiaomi mi 11x or the poco f3 without any data loss and by using dwrp recovery hey peeps what's up manchi here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can update your rooted poco f3 or the xiaomi mi 11x by using twrp recovery and without any data loss so as you can see i do have the poco f3 which right now is running miui 12.5.1 based on android 11 and this is how my home screen setup looks like let us go into the magisk app and go to the home page here and you will notice that magisk version is 23.0 which means the device is rooted let us also go into the modules section and as you can see i do have a module installed and it is active right now next up i do have an application called fx file manager installed and we can also open the camera application right now and take a few pictures so here is the first picture and here is the second picture which we have taken and now if i go to the gallery application you will notice i do have these two pictures and why did we take these pictures we are taking these pictures to ensure that there was no data loss now what are the files which you need all the files which you need are linked in the description of this video so for starters you do need the full recovery flashable rom for your variant of the poco f3 or the mi 11 x again download the full recovery flashable rom for your variant of the poco f3 or the mi 11 x do not and i repeat do not use the incremental ota we need to use the full recovery flashable rom then of course we also need magisk because your device is rooted right now and i am assuming that you want to be rooted after we have updated me ui as well and of course links to all of these can be found in the description of this video next up i do recommend that you be on twrp by wishist because that is what we are going to use in this video also make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent another thing just to be on the safer side make sure you have a backup of all the important things which you have on your device next thing we are going to do is we will go into settings password and security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done we will go over to magisk and go to the modules section here and disable any magisk module which you have installed and in case you have any substratum themes any exposed framework modules disable all of those and once this is done we are going to to reboot our device now while the device is rebooting you might be wondering why are we removing all the security measures we are doing this because we are switching miui versions and sometimes encryption changes happen especially when you jump from android 10 to android 11 or say android 11 to android 12 and the recovery does need to be updated for encryption change so if you do not have any pin or password you won't have any encryption issues with the recovery so hopefully after removing the pin password etc we won't have any encryption issues with the recovery next up why did we remove all the magisk modules and all the exposed framework modules or why did we disable them to be very specific we did this because we do not know whether the modules will be compatible with the latest or the newest version of miui to which we are updating so in short we are eliminating all the variables which might result in a boot loop when we have updated our miui so once we boot it back into miui we are going to turn off our device and then once the device has turned off press and hold power and volume up till you see the boot logo and once you see the boot logo you can let go of the power button so here it is i saw the poco logo let go of power volume up is still pressed and now we should boot into our recovery which is team win or twrp recovery by washest and herein go into wipe advanced wipe select dalvik slash art cache and then swipe to wipe once that is done tap on the home button go into install now you need to navigate to the folder where you have the recovery flashable miui zip file in case you downloaded it on your phone directly it will be in the download folder and here it is this is the file which you need to select and also make sure you inject twrp after install make sure this box is checked if this is not checked then your recovery will be replaced with stock me recovery after you have 
flash the newest version of MIUI and once you've confirmed these things all you need to do is swipe to confirm flash. Now once the flashing process has finished here and we are flashing the latest MIUI which for this specific video is 12.5.3 and you can see step 1 of 2, step 2 of 2 everything was done. Next up we are unpacking boot and then we are going to repack boot. So this is the step wherein we are injecting TWRP and the text in red can be ignored. Everything was finished without any errors. You have image flash completed once and image flash completed twice next up reboot and here in we are going to select system and there it is you can see we do have the me UI boot animation on our poco f3 or the me 11x now after updating the first boot up might take some time so you have to be patient and do note at this point we are not rooted once we have booted successfully into me UI that is when we are going to go back into twrp and root our device and there it is you can see we are on the home screen let us unlock the device we can go into gallery we still have the two pictures which we had taken home screen setup is still the same fx file manager is also there we can now go into settings and about phone here it is you will notice that the version is now 12.5.3 based on android 11 which means we have successfully updated our device to the latest miui version now if you go into magisk you will notice that it says magisk installed is not applicable because we haven't rooted at this point we are going to of course go back into our custom recovery which is twrp so again the same process turn off your device once the device is turned off press and hold power and volume up once you see the logo or the boot logo let go of the power button keep volume up pressed and you should boot into your custom recovery which is twrp here and we will go into install by default it will be in the previous folder in this case it is download all you need to do is select the magisk apk and then uncheck i repeat once you select the magisk apk uncheck the option of inject twrp after install and then swipe to confirm flash this is going to root our device and also keep twrp recovery because if you keep the option of inject twrp after install checked then your device might not be rooted so here it is process has finished successfully there were no errors all you need to do is reboot and select system and there it is we are back into miui of course we can go into settings and confirm we are still on 12.5.3 there it is still running 12.5.3 and now if you open magisk you will notice that we have 23.0 installed which means device is now rooted go into modules the module which we had disabled is still there all you need to do is enable it and reboot your device and you should be good to go next thing we are going to check whether we still have twrp recovery or not so same process turn off your device once the device has turned off press and hold power and volume up once you see the logo let go of the power button keeping volume up pressed and this should boot us into our recovery which is twrp and as you can see we are booting into the recovery which means that device is now rooted we have updated to the latest miui version without any data loss twrp rp is still there and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you